My name is Stephen Olson. I live here in Johnson A Complex, specifically Swinford Hall, Swin 331. And uh, I like it here, I enjoy it, but there's one problem. And the problem that I think defines my life the most is the name, Steve. I like the name, I, I love it, but let's be honest, not only are there lots of different names like Stevie, Steven, Steve, but sometimes you just, you don't know who, who they're talking to. I walk down the hall, there's four or five Steves around me. This one says, hey Steve. Now, how are we supposed to pick out who they're talking to? Hey Steve. Hey! Uh, there's a certain agony, it just, uh, it rips at me, frustration. Uh, it's sometimes uncontrollable. It's tough, it really is, to be a Steve here on Ball State. Hi, my name is Greg Edwards and I'm Steve Olson's roommate on the third floor of Swinford Hall. Some days I wake up and, you know, after a long nap because I have uh, early class and I hear Steve whimpering over in his bed and... I don't understand. Why does it be so difficult? I don't know, maybe he had a bad dream. Uh, recently I've been getting a lot of emails from my boyfriend Steven Olson, pretty much just complaining about how much it sucks to be a Steve and it's getting really annoying. At one point we pretty much almost broke up because of it. Whenever I see Steve on the street, he looks good. I mean really good. I don't I really don't know what Steve's problem is about finding his identity because if you look and there's 15 Steve, you can pick out the really good looking one. Steve Olson. When I first came to Ball State University, uh, it was tough trying to find my own identity, but um, let's face it, I had to do it somehow. And first off, I just have some characteristics. I'm not, I'm not the curly-haired, blonde Steve. I'm straight-haired, blonde Steve. I don't wear long hair. Uh, I don't really, you know, put any gel and really, really make it look nice. I just, this, this is me, this is who I am. Um, the, I, I'm not the kid who, uh, like every other Ball State student, who wears Nike shocks. I, I, I go old, old school. I wear Chuck Taylors, Converse. I think one of the general attributes you think of when it comes to uh, being a Steve is competitiveness. We're all competitive. We all want to win. Losing's not an option. Um, you know, when we go out there, whether it's video games, whether it's intramural sports, or let's face it, just walking to class, you can get there first, I'm gonna be the one. Hey, I got my new Chuck Taylor All-Stars. You wanna be an All-Star? Race me class, Steve. All right, Steve. How do you like me? How do you like that, boy? Let's face it, if, if I lose, I'm usually on suicidal watch for about a week. In a group like, like the Steves, we have to find some sort of, of uh, individuality. And uh, it's been tough. It really has. And throughout history, we have to live up to certain standards people have set. You have Steve Martin, a hilarious com comedian who not only is he funny, but he's smart, really smart. And we have uh, Steve, Stevie Wonder. There's a good example of a, of a Stevie who is blind, can play the piano, and sing. And then if you want to go way back, you have Stephen Douglas, politician. If it wasn't for his height disadvantage, I guarantee you he would have beat Honest Abe. I don't understand why it has to be so difficult. Hey Steve, high five. I mean, have you ever seen this man with his shirt off? He just has pecs that bulge, biceps that just bulge. Steve has come to me on several occasions with his problem of losing his identity. And I realize that because there's about 16, 17 Steves, there may be 18 running around here. And I sat him down one day and I said, Steve, I know what you're going through because my name is Matt. And there's about 200 Matts on this campus. So one day I said, gosh darn it, I want to be something different. 
And that's when I changed my name to Spud. And I know who I am now. I'm Spud. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Hey. Yo. Physically, he's a perfect specimen. I mean, the man's immaculate. To be quite honest with you, I like my name. And uh, I like being a Steve, a Steve with a V. And uh, I'm not going to change it. These times have tried me, but I've grown stronger. And uh, I will forever be Stephen William Olson. A new home and a new life. Things have changed.